Greetings, friends, and welcome to our very first edition of the UMH GNN, the Good News Network. I'm Marissa Salveson, Manager of Mission Development, and alongside me is Beth Shavy Bemis, Vice President of Sales and Marketing. We will be your host today, and we are thrilled to welcome you to your new favorite source for genuine good news. We know you're probably pretty overwhelmed by everything that's happening in the world right now, and so much upsetting news. We thought we'd take a moment and brighten your day and share some of the really good news of things that are happening at our UMH communities. Marissa? Thanks, Beth. So we'll start things off at our Wesley Village campus. We had a visit from the Department of Public Health last week to review our infection control policies, and we are pleased to say we passed with flying colors. Yeah! Way to go! Our clinical team is truly the best. Music has continued to echo through the hallways, courtesy of our beloved CNA, Carol. the building as well as popular performer Larry Batter serenaded residents on both the front and back side of the building. I've got a beautiful feeling. Everything's going my way. And singing the praises of our fantastic staff are our residents who are so grateful for the care and attention they receive, whether it's little things like helping them set up some of their spring decorations, taking them out for a walk, social distancing, of course, or sitting out on the bench and enjoying the beautiful day and the colored pinwheels. Residents from our Lifestyle Transitions neighborhood shared messages with their family members through photos on our Facebook pages. Special thanks to Lifestyle Transitions Activities Director Andrea Hyde for making this happen. Families were thrilled to see their loved ones' messages. The staff has also been utilizing the INTL program, which stands for It's Never Too Late, to keep residents engaged in their apartments. Each resident has a profile of their preferences loaded into the program, and it lets our staff know about their favorite songs, shows, games, and reminiscences. And as a little special treat, a small flock of lawn flamingos has decided to call the area in front of the Lifestyle Transitions neighborhood home. Everyone has enjoyed this little pop of fun and color. At our Wesley Heights community, staff members have been practicing their social distancing and their delivery skills. Although cottage residents are currently restricted from coming up to Middle Court because of our current health crisis, they are always in our heart, shares Activities Director Linda Farah. Staff like Linda make sure to stop by each cottage once a week to say hi, make sure they're well, and to deliver a small goodie, sometimes some cookies, hot cocoa, or an activity packet. Last week, residents received a bit of sunshine courtesy of Resident Services Coordinator Donna Bryce, her friend Cindy Vitko, who painted You Are My Sunshine Rocks, which were delivered and adored by all. The staff at Bishop Wiki have been steadily working to keep residents safe and engaged. Recreation Director Mary Barbin and her team have been finding ways to lead bingo and exercise class in the corridors to keep residents involved. The staff were thrilled to receive a recent donation of hand sanitizer from AIEP host families in Derby. Thank you, AIEP host families, and thank you, Bishop Wiki team. You are doing an amazing job. The loving care you provide is so important, and we are so thankful for you, and we are thinking of you daily. Oh, wait. Marissa, did you hear that? I think it's the ice cream truck, courtesy of Middlewoods of Newington, and Activities Director Laura Healy and her assistant Jen, who went door to door delivering ice cream sundaes. You're welcome, Anna May. Enjoy. Mm, I will. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'd like to have some of that vanilla crunch. Sounds delicious. The residents and staff at Newington decided, we're just sitting around. Why don't we run a marathon? So that's what they did. 
Residents and staff did laps around the building. FYI, six laps equal a mile, while other residents and staff cheered them on, pom-poms and all. Residents also recently enjoyed a traveling tiki bar fully equipped with drinks and delicious pineapple upside down cake. Wrapping up this segment, we head to our Middlewoods of Farmington community where our resident Ernie continues to bring cheer to residents and staff by playing his kazoo from a distance for the mobile monthly birthday party. <laughs> turned 88 this month along with fellow residents Donald and Riley who also celebrated April birthdays. Birthday cake was delivered to resident apartments last week and messages were photographed for family members. The family of resident Joyce Tovey dropped off a basket full of prepackaged snacks and flowers to brighten the staff's day. Thank you Tovey family. And now we'd like to take a minute to celebrate a few of our UMH caring superheroes. You may have heard that not all heroes wear capes, but a whole bunch of them work in senior living. And isn't that the truth? A huge shout out to Jukes, our Vice President of Finance, for moving mountains to secure PPE for our UMH team. And along with that, we'd also like to say thanks to our state representative and foundation board member, Jason Perillo, for his donation of 1,600 masks to UMH and our senior living communities. This is on top of the 500 masks he already provided us last week. What a tremendous help to our organization at such a critical time in our history. From our Crosby Commons team, special thanks go out to Executive Director Lori Pisani's Aunt Arlette, who with the assistance of some of her close friends, made 60 homemade masks for our Wesley Village campus, with more to come. Also, a special thank you to Patty, whose mother Nora is a Crosby Commons resident. She dropped off beautiful homemade masks last week as well. Chef Hector received special shout out in the New Haven Register as a person of note for the Humanitarian of the Year Award that he won last year from the Connecticut Assisted Living Association. I guess no time like the present to get caught up on old news. I bet they would even love to hear about his traveling omelet station. A great big thank you to Chaplain Kathy Nixie for her willingness to expand her knowledge of technology and her determination in filming video content to provide spiritual support for our residents and staff. She will now be interviewing for an IT job to assist Chris and Tim. Just kidding. Speaking of Chris and Tim, where would we be right now without the help of our favorite tech team? Seriously, they have done so much to help us adjust to these new challenges and they have provided incredible technology support for our team. Just last week, they helped us launch our brand new Wesley Village TV channel, which will be airing this broadcast and other great pro programming for our residents directly to their apartments. And we can't forget to thank Linda Farah and Lori Pisani for leading our residents in exercise classes nearly every day of the week. We can't possibly express enough gratitude to Dr. Dan Wallman, Medical Director for Wesley Village, to Faith Wadowitz, Vice President of Clinical Services, to Beth Carone, our Infection Control Nurse, to Lori Bauer, our Assistant Director of Nursing up at Bishop Wiki, and to Danita Alberti, our Director of Nursing Services for our Assisted Living Communities, for all of the amazing infection control procedures they have in place. They've done such an incredible job keeping everybody healthy and safe. We are so eternally grateful to everything that they have done. And special thanks to all of the staff at the whole Wesley Village campus, especially up at Bishop Wiki and at the Lifestyle Transitions. We are giving you a million virtual hugs for all of your amazing work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Our nurses, CNAs, chefs, servers, housekeepers, maintenance and groundskeeping staff, administrative, human resources and finance team, our drivers, front desk staff, everyone, everyone, everyone. You truly are the best. 
and thank you to our president and CEO, Dave Lawler, for his strength and leadership during this time. There are not enough words to thank the amazing team at all our UMH communities. We are filled with gratitude for all that you do to care and serve our residents and each other. If you have a caring superhero who you would like to see featured in our next segment, send your recommendations to us at goodnews at umh.org. Even in tough times, we still have lots to celebrate at UMH. Birthdays, babies, and more. Here's just a snapshot to make you smile. Beth? Wesley Village Manager of Transportation and Environmental Services, Pete Mansfield Jr. and his wife Jamie welcomed a brand new baby on Sunday, March 22nd. Their baby girl, Maeve Sophia, arrived as an 11 pound bundle of joy, measuring 22 and a quarter inches. Can you even imagine? Congratulations to the Mansfield family. Now a family of eight, or is it nine, or is it 10? I think we've lost count. We're so happy for you all. Jim Knees, a Crosby Common resident, celebrated his 100th birthday on March 28th. Jim shared a few words about turning 100. They tell me I'm gonna be 100 next Saturday. I really am doing well, I feel good, I eat good, I sleep good. In this time of crisis, we have to expect to be good. And uh, I don't worry about it because I'm well taken care of. I'm safe, secure, have no worries. I live at Crosby Common, I don't worry. David, a resident at Middlewoods of Farmington, is celebrating the birth of his new great-grandson, Brooks. Welcome, baby Brooks, and congratulations, David. Thanks to Carrie and David Martin for sharing this beautiful photo of their Aunt Rose, who celebrated her birthday on Easter Sunday. Happy birthday to Rose, who is a resident at Wesley Heights. And she's looking quite stunning in this photo, wouldn't you agree? In other news, at Middlewoods of Newington, the staff showed off their new employee uniforms during their Wacky Wednesday celebration on April 1st. Residents love the new look, and honestly, so do we. I think they could start a new Rent the Runway collection, don't you? We are continuing to pass along letters, notes, and artwork from friends and family members of our UMH communities to show support for our residents and staff. At this time, we are welcoming any and all files shared via email that we can print in our communities and distribute in a safe way. Please jump on board the You Matter Here mail train and send your submissions to goodnews at umh.org. Every note of support and encouragement makes a difference. COVID-19 is presenting us with a unique opportunity to connect the generations. We have a group of students from Fairfield and Quinnipiac universities who are interested in getting to know some of our residents, whether it's connecting through FaceTime, emails, phone calls. If you or your loved one might be interested in participating, please let us know. The students are receiving a collection of questions and a facilitation guide to help them through the process. If you are interested in participating in this program, please speak with your community's executive director who will help us facilitate this process. We look forward to hearing from you. Lastly, we'd like to leave you with a few short words of inspiration for your week. There is no shortage of love being shared with our UMH team members across our social media pages these days. We thought we would pass along a few encouraging words to lift your spirits today. From Crosby Commons, Joyce Barclay shares a huge thank you to everyone for making Crosby Commons the best community ever. And from Wesley Heights, Trap Shooter, also known as Paul Bruneau, says, fantastic. The care these employees give to your family members is the best I've ever seen. Love UMH with four exclamation points. From our Lifestyle Transitions neighborhood, Amy DeCoco shares, 
Thank you, Lifestyles, for taking care of them. Three exclamation points. From Middlewoods of Newington, Evelyn Goslin shares, It is so good to see my mom happy during this terrible time. From Middlewoods of Farmington, Maria Pentrantuono shares, Thank you to the entire staff. We pray for your health and safety and the health and safety of your families while you are working, taking care of our family members. Grateful. And from Bishop Wiki, Amy Kavanaugh Thompson shares, Stay well. Your love goes a long way. To borrow Amy's words, your love truly does go a long way. Thank you for joining us for today's edition of UMH GNN. We hope we have made your day a little bit brighter and extend a round of applause to the entire UMH team and all those who are supporting us. Thank you for your compassion, caring, and commitment during these difficult times. We love you and are praying for you and your families. And remember, we are in this together except at least six feet apart. We are UMH Strong. Until next time, I'm Marissa Salveson. And I'm Beth Bemis, and this has been UMH GNN. Take care, everyone, and stay well. <laughs>